Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to show you this sparkly purple look. And side note, I am working on the background. I know you guys are gonna miss looking at the recliner. But today I am using the Anastasia Self Made Palette. And I'm just gonna start off using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Palette. And this definitely helps hide those stubborn forehead wrinkles that I have from making a thousand faces a day. So I'm just gonna rub that in, and then using my new favorite foundation, the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous in 120 because I am super pale right now. And I'm just going to blend that into my neck and chest because even that light foundation is too dark for me. And then here I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Natural to highlight my under eye. I love this concealer. It's only like $2.99. I got mine off eBay, but I think you can get it at Walgreens online as well. It is the best concealer. It does not crease and it is super affordable. So we'll just blend this in using a beauty blender and this blends absolutely perfectly. It doesn't streak or anything. And to set my foundation, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Powder. And I realized that this powder is actually a little too dark for me, but YOLO, it's okay. It all blends in the end. Oh my God, did that run? Wow. Okay, so after this is all set, I use the Anastasia Banana Powder to set my under eye concealer. And moving on to brows, I'm just using my typical NYX products to fill these babies in. Now for the fun stuff. So I'm using the Sherbert shade as a transition shade and I'm just gonna dust this in my crease and like a little bit above my crease just so the shadows blend very nicely together. So once I got Sherbert blended out how I wanted, I took metallic plum on the same brush and just dusted that also in my crease and definitely tap off the excess because these shadows are extremely pigmented. That way you don't get like a lot of color on your first swipe on your eyelid. Um, so I'm just gonna dust this in my crease and also bring it down in my outer V. To make sure my eyeshadow was super well blended, I'm taking the Sigma E40 brush and I'm just gonna keep dusting that over back and forth throughout my eyelid just to make sure these eyeshadows are super blended. And then I'm taking my favorite eyeshadow, br eyeshadow brush, the Elizabeth Mott All Over Shadow Brush, and I'm deepening up that outer V with the same metallic plum color. Next, I'm using Deep Purple. This is one of my favorite shades in this palette. It is so purple and vibrant, and I'm just gonna pack this on my outer V and also um, kinda like blend it to the middle of my eyelid. Oh, I love this color. The next shade I'm using is Blossom, and this is gonna go on the first third of my lid, and also I'm gonna blend that in with the deeper purple and I definitely love how these shades started blending in together. It looked so pretty and just started kind of looking like a pink purple gradient. I don't know. It just looked good. And then I definitely wanted that deep purple shade to be super vibrant so I just started packing this on top again just to deepen it up a little bit. Moving on to my favorite color of this palette, Pink Champagne. I use this on my inner lid just to add a, a lot more shimmer. It is such a beautiful color. And then I just did my wings off camera because I was having major issues with them today. Um, but here I'm just adding hot chocolate from the palette on my lower lash line using an angled brush. Thank you. 
And also I decided to take metallic plum and also put that on my lower lash line. And I just make sure that these eyeshadows are super well blended and it doesn't look like there's just a straight line on my lower lash line. And then I was having a little bit of fallout, so I decided to take a little bit more concealer and just blend that out to hide any type of like dark eyeshadow and clean it up a little bit. But it's okay, I'll just be a little cakey today. It's fine. Now for mascara, I'm using the Jordana Best Volume Extreme, and this is a super awesome mascara. I think it's like $3 at Walgreens, and it makes your lashes so long. And to deepen up my eyeliner, I'm going over with a NYC liquid eyeliner, and then also taking a Rimmel eyeliner and doing my tight line as well as my waterline. Time for my favorite part. Yay, false eyelashes. So here I am putting those on, yay. To highlight my inner corner, I am using the color Blush, and this is the perfect inner corner highlight. It is so pretty. To finish up the rest of my face, I am taking the Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer, and I love this bronzer. It is perfect for our pale skin. So I love using it right now whenever I don't have any fake tan on. And then I'm just using this Model Co. Peach Blush. This is such a pretty shade for this look. Now for the lips, I am using a Jordana Easy Liner in Pink Love. I love their eyeliners. They are so affordable and they go on so smooth. My lips are so dry right now because of winter, but these still just like glide on my lips as you can see. And then to top off the eyeliner, I'm using this Maybelline lipstick in Make Me Pink. It is number 135. I love this shade. Make Me Pink and Pink Me Up are two of my favorite Maybelline lipsticks. And you know I had to highlight. So I am using the Hard Candy Highlighter in Tiki and I'm just going to brush that on my cheekbones, my nose, Cupid's bow, the huge. And this is the final look. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week. What am I doing there? Oh, God.